Welcome to today's live IELTS class. My name is Adrian and I'm streaming to you from Central Europe, Budapest. I hope everybody is having a healthy, safe and good week so far. Hi, Awaz. In this class, we are looking at a task to writing question that asks to discuss both the advantages and disadvantages. Hi, Awaz. This is a members chat class. Of course, everybody is welcome to watch. In 90 minutes, we will have a listening part one and two, all chat class where everybody can join the chat. To become a member of the uh, channel, click the join button uh, beside the subscribe button. If you don't see it there, uh, send me an email. My email is adrian at aehelp.com. So you can send me an email and request further information. Hi, Abhishek. Hi, Tito. Hi, Preeti. Nice to see more members joining in on time. While we wait for a few more members, these lessons are presented to you by aehelp.com. That's academicenglishhelp.com. For lots more help with the Academic IELTS, check us out there and join the premium package. For the general version of the exam, please visit us at g-i-e-l-t-s-help.com, that's generalieltshelp.com, and join our premium packages there. Hi, Dr. Krishna, good to see you as well. Hi, Pavan. I'll just quickly show you our websites. Um, this is the academic one here, aehelp.com, and uh, this is the general one here, gieltshelp.com. Both of these websites have over 100 hours of video lessons, original practice exams, and fully interactive courses. Uh, students, if you have access to our websites, please make sure to link, join your mobile app, okay? Uh, our mobile apps are Academic IELTS Help, that's for ahelp.com, and General IELTS Help, that's for gieltshelp.com. You can link your accounts so that they work together. We're always developing and adding materials, so just keep going with those, okay? Bumi, Puneet, uh, Hemant, Maksud, nice to see more of our members. We've got lots of students in the class now, so we'll get going with today's lesson. Let's get right into it. So this was actually requested by one of our members. I can't remember who sent this request to cover this question, but it's uh, part of your perks members at the second level. Um, welcome, Bahard. Uh, so you can request classes. If there's a question that you find difficult or confusing, send me an email and you can request that I cover those in class, okay? Uh, Niha, I saw your email, so I'll answer that later, okay? All right, students, so uh, IELTS task two writing. Step number one, of course, is to read this question carefully. Uh, how is the brightness of the screen for you right now? I know it's a little bit different for everyone. Uh, I always try to figure that out. So if it's too bright, let me know. I'll darken it up a bit. If it's okay, if you can read it, then that's fine. I'll keep going, okay? Abhishek says it's perfect. Good, thanks Abhishek for letting me know. All right, um, so uh, here we go. Students, task two writing. You should spend 40 minutes on this task. It is worth two thirds of your writing mark. So make sure to spend the full 40 minutes. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's read this. In many countries, people would rather rent a house instead of buying one. Describe the advantages and disadvantages of both. Okay. It's a simple, elegant question that gives you an opportunity for a lot of different ideas and answers. Write at least 250 words. Um, students, I'm going to say this over and over because I, there's always confusion about this word count. Uh, you shouldn't try to write exactly 250 words, okay? So I'm actually going to write it into the lesson here just real quick this time. So if you want to get a band score 7 or more, you should be aiming to write around 300 to 350 words, okay? Now, remember 
that quality is more important than quantity. Uh, so find the right balance uh, for the 40 minutes. Okay, and this is what you really have to practice. All right. So don't make a lot of mistakes. If you write 350 words, but you make a lot of mistakes, you will get a low band score. If you write 250 words and it's perfect, you'll probably get a band 8, maybe an 8.5. I think it's really difficult to get a band 9 with just 250 words simply because you probably won't have a well-developed idea, okay? Uh, so... Keep this in mind. All right. Uh, so again, one more time, the question, and then uh, let's uh, get into uh, paraphrasing. So in many countries, people would rather rent a house instead of buying one. Describe the advantages and disadvantages of both. Okay. Uh, write a nice paraphrase. So step number one, okay, first paraphrase the question for clarity, ideas, and vocabulary. Okay, that's why you're paraphrasing. Uh, Maksud, the introduction is between 50 to 80 words. Okay, it can be 50 to 80 words. Many students write very short introductions that don't do anything for the reader except just paraphrase the question. That's not a good idea, Maksud. So Maksud's question is how long should the introduction be? Uh, to answer that, Maksud, uh, a good introductory paragraph should be between 50 to 80 words. Okay? I'd say 50 is the minimum. That's if you're very concise and accurate. All right, so uh, let's paraphrase this uh, this question here, I'm going to just write it underneath here, and then we will compare, okay? So, again, in many countries, people would rather rent a house instead of buying one. So, All right, so I see some paraphrasing coming up from a lot of students. That's fantastic. And I see that my screen's getting a little bit brighter, so I'll darken it up, students, so you can see it a little bit more clearly. You won't see my face as well, but you'll see the text a little better, okay? All right, um, here we go. So Awaz says, nowadays in numerous nations, the majority of individuals prefer to lease a house rather than purchasing one. Um, yeah, it's okay. Uh, lease is okay, Awaz. Um, the word lease is a little bit tricky because um, it can mean a couple of different ideas, Awaz, just so you know, okay? So the word lease, it's good. The word lease can equal rent or rent to own. Okay, but you can use it. It is a good synonym in this case. So you can say lease instead of rent a was. So that's a nice paraphrase. All right. Uh, Hemant says, what are some of the pros and cons of staying in a rented house uh, against staying in your own house? Um, yeah, Hemant, it's not bad. It's a little bit unclear. Uh, staying in a rented house doesn't necessarily mean I'm the one renting, but it's okay. Uh, Charlie says certain individuals um, believe to live in a rented house, where, whereas others believe in buying a house. Describe the pros and cons of both of these scenarios. Okay. Abhishek says in numerous countries, the public would rather rent a home um, instead of purchasing one. Okay, Abhishek, little correction there. Define the benefits and deficits of both. Good. 
Elena says, people of various territories uh, should lease an apartment instead of purchasing one. Explain the pros and cons of both. I think, Elena, apartment is too specific. So um, instead of, uh, so apartment is, mm, I think it's too specific. I would rather say home or real estate, property, okay, maybe. Um, residence is, would be a good one. I think residence and home are the best paraphrases for house. So residence, residence because residence also means that you live there, you reside. Reside means to live there. And of, co of course, home is a synonym of that, right? Um, real estate is more broad. Real estate can be an office, for example, same with property. An apartment is more specific, right? So careful with your paraphrasing students in your essays. One of the most common mistakes that I see in essays is word choice, okay? So be careful with word choice, right? Uh, be very careful with word choice. Wrong word choice is one of the most common uh, mistakes that decrease scores. Okay, uh, in order to learn better word choice, okay, so to learn good word choice, meaning the meanings of words, knowing the accurate meanings of words in context, read and speak lots, okay? That's really the key. We can get into it more, but that's really what you need to do, all right? Okay, so um, Rajveer says, people around the world would prefer to rent a home instead of purchasing the same. What are the pros and cons? Of both viewpoints. Okay, good. Uh, Puneet says, around the world people are tending to rent a house rather than buying one. Expra explain the pros and cons. All right, so there's lots there. Good. Uh, let's keep going. I'll read different students for different uh, sentences. Um, this is my uh, paraphrase here. Okay. In many nations, individuals prefer to be tenants instead of homeowners explain the benefits and negatives of each. So I'm using the word tenants because if you rent a home, then you are a tenant of that property. It means you're a renter, okay? Tenant, of course, is another way to say renter. And if you buy a home, then you're a home owner. So this is kind of looking at the apple from a, the, the same apple from a different perspective, all right? So one of the great tricks to good writing, of course, is being able to take the apple, the apple here, of course, means the topic and the question, and being able to turn the apple in different directions, breaking it, pulling it apart, and looking at it in different ways to give clear explanations, all right? So that's what you're going for here. Okay, um, so what are we talking about here? Okay, what's the topic? Let's keep this simple. It, it, is a, it is elegant and simple, so you shouldn't overcomplicate this. So what is the topic in this case? Clearly identify it. Okay, um, yeah, exactly, Tito, right, Boomi? It's your home, it's your residence, it's where you live, right? It's your uh, place of uh, residence, so it's your home. Okay, or residence, good. Uh, nice job, um, Tito, to uh, use the vocabulary that I'm giving you here. Exactly. So the topic is residence. We're talking about your place where you live, okay? It's not rent versus owning. It's your home, okay? And uh, what's the uh, controlling idea? So if uh, the topic is your home, where you live, then what is 
Yeah, Puneet. So Puneet says it's the possession of property, which is your residence, Puneet, but it's a nice, um, elegant way to describe the topic, Puneet, the possession of property or the type of possession of property. Yeah. Um, and it's the advantages and disadvantages of renting and owning. Yeah. Yeah. Very good, Bumi. So Bumi says it's the pros and cons of renting and owning a house. Uh, not just being tenants, Roshni, but also ownership, right? Um, it's not asking you which one is better, Hamant. So Hamant, be really careful always with the question, okay? In this case, the question is kept quite simple by the IELTS here. They don't actually say which one is better. They just say, describe the advantages and disadvantages of both. So students, be really careful in the IELTS not to um, include information that you're not being asked for. Okay. So that's why I really liked this question from this member because it's simple, it's elegant. And I think one of the common mistakes here would be students including information that you're not being asked or candidates. Okay. So do not include information into your essay that you are not asked, okay? Like, which is better? What would you prefer? Okay, uh, the question does not ask for these. Okay, so don't include it. Instead, go into detail. All right, be very careful. That's why before you start writing, even if you have a good paraphrase, always review the original question. Okay, going off topic is a dangerous path that can cost you a lot of ban marks, okay, especially in, um, in task two. So the controlling idea, of course, is the benefits, benefits and uh, deficits of uh, renting and owning a home. Okay, um, so good. Now, uh, let's just quickly go over the what, why, how here. So what is a residence? So what is that? How would you define your residence? Okay. What would be a good way to define it? Again, focus on being concise and clear. So yeah, you're right, Boomi. Now we're looking at the what, why, how of the topic and the controlling ideas to get as much clarity as we can and to get some good ideas for the essay. Uh, Roshni, renting a house here in this case, okay, means that you're paying a landlord to rent your home. So you're giving money to somebody because you're living in somebody else's house. So you're renting it. So renting, you technically own the home for that month, right? So Tito says it's where families and people live together freely. All right. Elena, took back your thoughts. I see that. Um, where a person lives, okay, a place of staying with the family. So Niha says, a place where we live. You may or may not be the owner, okay. A place where we reside either temporarily or permanently, okay, sure. All right, so Charlie says a place where people stay for a long time. All right, a residence is the shelter for a person to conduct personal. Ah, let's not go into the shelter for a person. Let's just keep it really simple. Why do we have a residence? Maybe this is the more interesting question. So why do we have a residence? Why have a shelter? <laughs> why not just live in the wild freely like our ancestors did many, many thousands of years ago? 
or as uh, our close relatives, the monkeys uh, still do, chimpanzees. So why not just live uh, in the wilderness? Okay, so what is the purpose of, of a shelter, of a home? Okay. We're going quickly here. Again, do this quickly, students. Uh, the only reason you're doing this is just to have a really clear idea that you're not talking about buying or renting an office or a school or some other type of building, but specifically the residence where you live, okay? So that's why we're going through these what, why, how, okay? So Bahard says it's one of the basic needs for human survival. Maybe, Bahard, um, but why? So how does it help, okay? So Awaz says it, uh, it offers protection. So it offers protection uh, from others, animals, and weather. Sure, yeah, that's primarily it, right? It'd be difficult to live outdoors in uh, certain parts of the world where it's extremely hot or extremely cold, right? So it offers protection, safety from animals, others, and yourself. How? Let's go through this. So how? Um, it has walls and a roof with a door. Okay, so at the most simple level, right? Uh, again, the reason you're doing this and practicing this at home is to build your visualization, to build your thinking so that you can come up with good words, good sentences, and good ideas, okay? Yeah, exactly, Haman, to be safe from the environment, basically, and to be able to rest. Okay, sure. All right, um, so let's get into the uh, controlling ideas here. Um, what are the benefits of renting a home? Let's go for this one. So if you think about renting a home instead of buying a home, uh, what would you say is the benefit of that? So what's a positive for giving money to someone each month uh, to stay in this shelter from the elements or from the environment? What's the benefits of that? Okay, so Tito says you can leave it whenever you want. Okay, uh, Tito, not bad. Um, Tito, instead of thinking in the concept of you, try to think of people or the tenant. Okay, so the tenant can relocate easily to another home. More easily, let's say, to another home home. Okay, sure. Uh, any other um, benefits? So Charlie says needs a smaller amount of money up front. Okay, so needs less money up front means right away. So you don't have to pay $200,000, but you can just pay $2,000, right? So needs less money up front. And then um, uh, somebody, Elena says, renting a home can be cheaper than buying a home. Okay, needs less money up front, uh, can be cheaper than buying a home. All right. Okay. Um, so Roshni says more flexible. Yeah. I think that's uh, the same as this answer here, right? So flexible. Okay. Uh, we're going to leave the negatives for now. Okay. And I'm just going to jump to the other side of this argument. What are the benefits of owning a home. So be dynamic in your thinking when you're planning your essay. Don't necessarily think advantages, disadvantages for one side and then the other side, but maybe you can think of benefits for one side and then the benefits for the other side, which will help you to come up with ideas for the negatives of the other side and then vice versa, okay? So here, 
Uh, let's start thinking about what are the benefits of owning a home. Okay, uh, so Boomi says uh, can save money. Okay, so saving money. There's a word that I'm looking for specifically here. Okay. Uh, Boomi says provides identity. Sure. Okay. Permanent location. Um, Bahard says it's an asset. That can be passed on or that, that can be inherited, right? Okay, absolutely. So an asset means it's a value, right? Yeah, so Puneet Raila, very nice. So Puneet says it's an investment and a lifetime asset. This is the word I was looking for, everyone. So good job, Puneet. I don't know if anybody else mentioned it as well, but it is an investment. Okay, so, and it's a big one. It is arguably the biggest investment that most people will make in their lives. The reason you want to think critically, so I'm going to take a moment here, students, um, to uh, really focus in on this so that you understand the importance of critical thinking. Okay. So the importance of good critical thinking in task two and in the speaking section as well is to come up with a key idea that can possibly get you an extra, a whole extra band score, such as buying a home is an investment. Investments can pay off or can be a great loss. Okay, so when you invest in a home or, for example, in another uh, investment uh, Opportunity like a uh, stock, for example, either you can win a lot of money or you can lose a lot of money as well, right? So uh, investments can go both ways, as we know. Now, real estate is usually a pretty good investment, although it's not always the case. So let's go back to uh, the question now. And... Uh, Here, with the, um, what are the benefits of renting a home? Now, if we think about the benefits of renting a home, if we rent the home, we're not really investing in that property, okay? So we're not going to win a lot of money, but also we're not going to lose a lot of money. So one of the big benefits of renting a home is what? Okay, can anybody guess what's inside my head? So if I'm renting a property, then uh, I'm not going to gain a lot because I'm not putting money into that property, into my pocket and investing, but I'm also not going to lose a lot. So what is one of the advantages of renting a property? What do you think is inside my head that I'm going, aha, this is a great idea that will be uh, very useful in this essay. Uh, there we go, Bahard, very good. Uh, Barad, sorry, Barad, sorry for the pronunciation. So Barad says it's risk-free. Okay, Barad, not exactly risk-free, but low risk, right? That's the concept, right? So what are the benefits of renting a home? Is it's low risk, right? That's one of the big reasons we rent homes in many places around the world is because it's low risk. If I lose my job and I have to move, it's much more difficult if I've bought a house, right? So um, what are the negatives of renting a home? So if it's low risk, let's keep going with this concept. So it's low risk to rent a home and the negatives are 
what? If it's low, it's low risk, but it's also low something else. <laughs> and you should get it from this brainstorming. So it's low risk, but also low. Yeah, so Rajvir says it doesn't really get your return, so it's low gain, okay, is the expression that we would have there. So it's low gain. Money goes out of pocket each month, okay. Um, any other negatives? So this is the main one that I wanted you to think of. So low gain, money goes out of pocket each month. Uh, what else is a negative that comes to mind, okay? Yeah, so Preeti says interruption by landlord, so uh, you are less in control, right? Less control, okay? Uh, obviously, you can't just suddenly knock out one of the walls because you want to build a bigger bathroom. Um, you have to ask your landlord for something like that. They probably won't let you, so you have less control, okay? So it's lower gain, it's less control. All right, so now... The other side here with uh, buying a home or owning a home, um, it's what? So what are the words that we want to put here for the, let's go for the negative. Okay, so jump to the other side here, owning a home, the negative. Uh, and if students are wondering, viewers are wondering, why isn't Adrian writing the introduction and the body paragraphs and so on? The reason why, students, is because the fastest way to improve your IELTS band score is not just by practicing your English, which we're doing here anyway with all these words, but it's to also practice your thinking for these questions, okay? If you can think quickly, think well, uh, then you will write a much better essay. The number one reason I see a lot of students getting lower band scores in the writing section is not because they have bad English, it's because they're not producing the right information, okay? Yeah, so Charlie Sen says, uh, it, so this is why I spend more time on the planning. You're learning English anyway here, okay? All right, so Charlie Sen says it's huge risk. Um, Bumi says, yeah, it's high risk. The liability of the loan, absolutely. Okay, so you stand to lose a lot, um, so it's high risk. High risk, loan liability. Okay, now of course, um, the advantages are the opposite, is it's an investment, it's potentially high gain and lots of control. So now we are ready to write the thesis statement, okay? I think everybody has a very clear idea. So the thesis statement, advantages, disadvantages of both. Um, go ahead, everyone, write a thesis statement. The thesis statement, for those of you who are not sure, is the clear argument of your essay. This is a sentence or two which presents the clear argument of your essay, the voice of the essay, and the structure of the essay. Okay, so that's what this is. It's the last sentence of your introductory paragraph. Okay, so what you really want to avoid, um, students, is a situation where you're writing a task to essay to a question like this, and then as you're writing the essay during the second body paragraph, you suddenly realize, oh yeah, a much better way to look at this is high risk versus low risk, um, high control versus low control, and I should have done that in the beginning, but now I'm finished the essay, I'm out of time, Ugh, there goes my band score. Okay, so that's what we're really working hard to avoid. That's why you want to spend three, four minutes on this kind of planning so you have the right 
content in your essay, okay? Three, four minutes, five minutes of planning from your 40 minutes will actually let you write much faster. You will have much better structure, content. You will have better English as well because you have more clarity. So go through these steps, okay? Uh, those kind of tricks that some IELTS programs are showing you where you just paraphrase and say this essay will discuss the benefits and disadvantages of both will not get you good band scores, okay? I hope that's really clear for everyone. So this is just uh, while I'm waiting for your thesis statements. So uh, using template writing tricks, okay? Like paraphrasing the question and then stating uh, this essay, I'll actually show you a bad introduction, okay? So this would be a bad introduction here where we just take the uh, paraphrase that I had up here Okay, so if I take this and we'll compare the two introductory paragraphs. So I'll do that in this class where I'll give you a direct comparison. Okay, so this will be introduction A. I see so many of these. Okay, so this is introduction A, and then we'll compare it to introduction B. Which, of course, we're going to do, to do together now. Okay, so this is a bad introduction, and now we're going to do a good introduction, and we'll compare, and you're going to see why. Okay, meanwhile, I'm going to read some of the thesis statements coming up by the students. So, Rajvir says, the advantages of renting a house are lower risk and more flexibility, while its disadvantages are no gains on the property, no gains or control of the property. Uh, Rajvir, good. Rajvir, you don't have to repeat uh, the uh, no. Okay, so Rajvir, you have really good writing, really good English. Work really hard on making it more concise. That's your next level of uh, skill. Okay, is even more concise writing. The benefits of owning a house are high gains and great control, while its deficits are high risk and loan liabilities. Um, loan liabilities, Rajvir, is a part of high risk. So I don't think you need to state that. So again, uh, it's uh, concise. I like, Rajvir, how you did it in two sentences. I can tell very clearly where you're going with this essay. Okay. All right. Um, Elena says, there's nothing better than owning a house in, in terms of privacy and security. However, renting a home can be cheaper than buying a home. Um, Elena, it's not bad. So I think you could make an essay with those ideas, but I don't think the essay will be the same caliber as what Rajvir is writing just because Rajvir's approach is, let's say, a higher level of analysis. Um, I'll, I'll tell you why, Elena. If I rent a home, uh, I have privacy and security as well, okay? Uh, in most places around the world, you cannot kick a person out of their home if they paid rent, okay? Uh, so you're going to have a really difficult time creating a clear argument there, Elaine, about privacy and security. When I rent a home, I have privacy and security, okay? Um, the tenant can't, or the landlord can't come and just kick me out, especially if I've paid rent. I just call the police, right, and say, hey, look, I paid rent. What's going on? So... Uh, Renting a home, the only difference is you're actually only buying the home for that one month, right, kind of thing. So careful. Uh, Roshni says, most people say that renting an abode is more beneficial as it's low risk and less investment. However, I believe that owning a home is beneficial for large gains and loan liabilities. Mm, I think there's a lot of confusion there, Roshni. Uh, loan liabilities are not necessarily beneficial, 
careful with that. And abode, uh, meaning a home, we kind of use that in slang. So if I say it's my humble abode, uh, these days in modern English, abode is kind of a slang for home, although it's a good word, it's still just slang. So uh, keep be careful. Maksud, yeah, very good. I like how you remembered that expression, cookie cutter. Yeah, so this is a cookie cutter uh, introduction, and the most this will get you is on your way to a band 5 or a band 5.5. Exactly, right. So owning a house makes you secure and keeps your investment intact, whereas re rent rebutting a house gives you freedom uh, to intimize your funds the way you like. Not bad, um, Puneet. Instead of getting too fancy with vocabulary, Puneet, be a little bit more fancy with content, okay? So this would be my thesis statement here, okay? So renting a home is lower risk and provides flexibility while giving less control and um, less personal control. Let's make it pair for, uh, grammatically parallel. So less personal control and monetary gain. However, owning a home provides greater control, but also greater risk. Okay. So that would be my concise um, thesis statement. So renting a home is lower risk and provides flexibility while uh, giving less personal control and monetary gain. However, owning a home uh, gives greater control but also greater risk, okay? So that would be um, my band nine. I'm just gonna replace one redundant word here, repetitive word and change it with gives, it just reads a little bit better. So that would be my thesis statement. This thesis statement shows that my body paragraph one will talk about uh, renting a home as lower risk, but also less personal control and gain, financial gain, monetary gain, financial gain. And my second body paragraph will talk about owning a home and giving more control, but also greater risk. More control can also be about finances as well. So in the sense of investment, okay? All right, um, so for introduction B, can everybody give me a hook, please? So the hook is an interesting statement that catches the reader's attention. I'm going to write a hook, um, also write the hook. Let's move along nice and smooth here, students, to finish this introductory paragraph. So. Here we start with a hook, the hook, an interesting statement that contains the topic. It's short and accurate, okay, meaning no mistakes, all right? Let's see what you come up with your for the uh, hook, okay? So Bumi says, a home is the basic need of every living creature. Um, yeah, Bumi, I, th <laughs> I think uh, instead of creature, let's just stay with humans or people. So the, a home is the basic need of all people. Yeah, Elena, from the ancient times, shelter is one of the basic needs of human beings. Yeah, I like that, Elena. Nice. So from, from ancient times, I wouldn't use the word era, Elena. I'd just say ancient times, from ancient times. Kazim says, buying or renting, human beings uh, need a home to live. Kazim, good idea. I just fixed it a bit, okay? Or buying or renting, comma, 
Human beings need a place to live, period. That would be good. It's a little bit more tricky, Kazim, so be careful with uh, grammar when you're expressing a more fancy idea, okay? You don't necessarily need to do that on the IELTS to get a high band score, okay? Preeti says, buying or owning a house is uh, the dream of buying... Uh, okay, let me try to figure that one out, Boomy. Or sorry, uh, yeah, just got retracted. Yeah, needs needs some work. Okay, Tito says, uh, residence is all people want in this era because it's the primary need of individuals. Too complicated, Tito. Make that simpler with no mistakes, okay? It's too complicated with too many mistakes. Awaz says, the, a home can offer protection from hazards. Um, yeah, I th it's Awaz, you have the right topic, but I think you're going off on the wrong controlling idea, okay? Um, so there's a couple good uh, hooks there, okay? So the home is a basic need of all human beings. Sure, we can keep it that simple, okay? The home is a basic need of all human beings. All right. Now, uh, background. It's the importance and definitions. Okay. Now, give me some background. So I've heard a few uh, students uh, asking me in emails and so on of, Adrian, I'm having trouble with the background, right? Um, so again, visualize, why are we talking about renting or owning? So um, what uh, is the importance of this? Why should we discuss this? Okay, Hamont says, the residence is a place from where our lives starts and ends. So it's always close to every individual. All right, it's a good start, Hamont. Um, Elena says, a shelter can not only protect us from the elements, but also gives us a feeling of well-being. Yeah, keep it simpler, Elena. You don't need that much detail, okay? So, a residence provides people with shelter from the elements and a place to rest. Arguably, the money spent by an individual, whether renting or buying, is one of the greatest expenses incurred during a lifetime, okay? So why are we talking about this? Well, because it's a big part of life. Why is it a big part of life? Because it's what we spend a lot of our money on, okay? So one of our greatest expenses, arguably for most people in their lifetime, will be the money spent on their home. That's why we're talking about whether we want to rent or buy, okay? So, Boomi, I, yeah, how can you generate a good background? Think about it. Why are we talking about this? Why are people so concerned about renting or buying? And eventually, when you think about it, you should realize, well, because it's what we spend a lot of money on every single month, okay? So, now I can just grab my thesis statement and then put it in to the end here to finish don't want redundancy there, this introductory paragraph. So this is my introduction B here, okay? I'm gonna darken up the screen a little bit more here. 
Studio's getting brighter as the sun's coming around. So this is my introduction B. The home is a basic need of all human beings. A residence provides people with shelter from the elements and a place to rest. Arguably the money spent by an individual, whether renting or buying, is one of the highest expenses incurred during a lifetime. Okay. And then the thesis. Renting a home is lower risk and provides flexibility while giving less personal control and monetary gain. However, owning a home gives greater control, but also greater risk. Okay, so now students take a look at a band five level start and a band nine level start. Obviously, you can see that this introduction is a little bit longer. It's going to be closer to 50, 60 words, as where this one is closer to 30, 35 words. I see a lot of these kinds of introductions for task two IELTS, but I'd really like to see a lot more of these kinds of introductions, okay? And to do that, you have to do a bit better planning. Now, it looks like, you know, we're taking a lot of time to do this, generate these ideas, but I promise you that when you practice, um, it's going to be much, much better, okay? Yeah, flexibility, Elena, absolutely can be related to moving. So, Elena, that's what you would explain later in the body paragraphs, that you can relocate to another place more easily where you might have a better job offer or in case you fall in love and get married, right? So, exactly, flexibility can be a lot of different points still in the introduction. Remember, Elena, you're narrowing your ideas like moving in the body paragraphs, okay? All right, so uh, here we go. Students, imagine you're an examiner. You're looking at hundreds of essays, task two essays that are answering this question, and you're reading lots of essays that start something like this. In many nations, individuals prefer to be tenants instead of homeowners. Um, there are negatives. Uh, let me just change that a little bit so it reads like an introduction of a student. Just give me one second here. Just a slight adjustment. Okay, so this is introduction A. In many nations, individuals prefer to be tenants instead of home homeowners. There are benefits and negatives of each. This essay will discuss the merits and demerits of both renting and owning a home. Okay, now introduction B. This is the next essay that you're reading. The home is a basic need of all human beings. A residence provides people with shelter from the elements and a place to rest. Arguably, the money spent by an individual on their home, whether renting or buying, is one of the highest expenses incurred during a lifetime. Renting a home is low risk and provides flexibility while giving less personal control and monetary gain. However, owning a home gives greater control, but also greater risk. Which one are you going to think, okay, this student is probably a band nine, an expert user of the English language, versus another student who is almost a fluent user of the English language? I think you know the answer, okay? So please, 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 students, work hard and study towards writing this kind of introductory paragraph, okay? All right, that's all the time we have. Yeah, so I'm, sure, I'm pretty sure introduction B. Yeah, you have a lot more clarity. You know, have a lot more about the structure and so on. Absolutely, okay? So that's what you want to do, okay? That's what you want to do. Um, who was it? It was Maksud that said it very clearly. Uh, this one here, it's a cookie cutter. Okay, it's clear that all this student did was looked at some uh, old school IELTS lessons and materials and copied a very simple strategy in hopes that they're going to get a good band score. And in paragraph uh, introduction B, sorry, introduction B, obviously the student studied essay writing strategy used in literature 
in persuasive essays, knows the concept of a thesis, direct thesis. So here, it's very clear that the student has a much deeper understanding of writing than student A, okay? So be really careful with this, students, okay? Be really, really careful with this. All right, I'd like to change, just being, just changing to this style will get you a better band score. I promise you it will get you a better band score, okay? All right, uh, that's it for today. Members, tomorrow we will finish B paragraph, uh, body paragraph one, body paragraph two, and the conclusion, okay? So tomorrow uh, will be body one, body two, and conclusion, okay? Uh, so coming up in 30 minutes, I will host a listening part one, listening part two class with some practice and strategy. Uh, students to learn the correct methods for communication for the IELTS to get those high band scores. Check out our websites, ahelp.com, gltshelp.com. will help you improve your English, your communication, and your IELTS band scores. So check us out there. And uh, hopefully I'll see most of you in uh, 30 minutes. Great work, members. Lots of members now. It's fantastic to see all of your hard uh, work. That's great. Okay, very good job. Bye for now. See you in a half hour.